Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, let's do something so awesome and so stinking cute. So, I thought I would make this video all about capturing a memory and having something beautiful to display it in. And this project today is perfect for any season, any reason, anything. And like I said in my post, it's even perfect for the furry members of our family. And I'm going to bring it in and show you guys what it is. It is this awesome, awesome photo frame that we make ourselves. This is just so stinking cute. When it's finished, you're going to have an opening that's four by four, but you can make that opening even larger depending on how you space um, your panels here, or you can make it even larger by creating larger panels. These are one by seven. You can go with one by 10, one by 12, whatever it is you want to do on this. And I popped it up with my butterflies and some greenery. Now these butterflies here are actually from a package of butterflies and greenery that I purchased. But remember how we found butterflies on the internet. You can cut those out and use those on your frame if you want to create something similar to this look. But guys, I am telling you that no picture in the world that I can show you does this justice. This is just absolutely breathtaking. And whatever photograph that you put on the inside is really going to pop. I am going to use this to um, pop in a photograph of my grandchildren and put this out in my living room because I think it is just that beautiful. And then when you flip it over, you can see that I have got these cute little easels on the back. And I made them using the clothespins and I'll show you guys exactly how I did it. So it gives you a very nice sturdy base if you want to go larger than the project I made the other day where I used the clothespins. So if you wanted to go with a 10 by 10 frame, this will certainly support that. And I'm going to show you guys something really fantastic about this. And the back just pops off very easily, just like that. Because we've got magnets on it, you don't have to put magnets on yours. You actually have enough of an opening right here to be able to slide your picture down on the inside. This is a fabulous anytime gift, but with Mother's Day being right around the corner, this is even more fabulous for those women in our lives. Whether it's your mom or some other important woman in your life, this is fabulous just for that. So let's make it. Okay, so to make this project, you're going to need four strips that measure one by seven. Then I have a scrap piece that is at least 12 inches long and at least two and a half inches wide. Then I have a piece of that same paper that measures five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. Then I have a chipboard piece, which will be the back, that measures six by six. And then I have a white piece, which will be this, that measures eight by eight. All right, guys, so the first thing that I'm going to do is take my one by seven inch piece and place it down on my long scrap and then I'm just going to trim off my excess and when you're doing this you need to make sure that you have enough space on both sides of your uh, one by seven piece so that you can wrap around and you can see on one part of this right here I didn't do that so I have a little bit of a gap but that's okay because I'm going to keep this one anyway so then we're going to take our paper 
and just fold it over on all four sides. And then we'll come in and just do our miter cuts. And then I am going to use my tape runner and just place some tape on all four of these and get them folded over. And I'll use my bone folder just to smooth that down and make sure that it's stuck. Once you have that done, it's going to look like this. Now how you choose to do this is totally going to be up to you. So your spacing will be completely up to you, but I am going to space mine so that it's as even as possible on the four sides. So when I lay them down like that, I'm going to use the grids on my mat to make sure that I've got them nice and straight. And I'm doing this so that when I'm finished, I am going to end up with an opening that is about four by four. So now that I have it down, I can go ahead and just start gluing it. And so I am going to take my glue and just run myself a thin little bead about a quarter of an inch in and where you place yours is truly up to you. Then I'm going to take a little bit of glue and just place it on the end of that. So what I did is I have the glue here and that'll cover this edge here and then I added some glue here so that both ends will be stuck. So I'm just going to take this, lay it down in my reptile glue, which gives me a little bit of wiggle room to be able to get it straightened out the way that I want it. And then when I think I have it, I am going to use my bone folder and then I'll do the same thing over here. So I'm just going to take my glue, run a bead of glue, and then that's going to go on like that. So I am going to take some glue and put it here so that everything will stay stuck down. I'm going to put this back on my grid and then I'll put this one down and just try to match it up at the top and the bottom. At this point, it's not quite straight. So I am going to lift this up, take a look at it. And guys, you may never get it perfect, but we can get it close enough to something that's going to be very attractive. So now I am going to just take this and make sure everything is nice and stuck. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I have a very thin strip and it is probably four by a quarter of an inch. And I'm just going to place some glue on this. You can cover yours with paper if you want. I'm not covering this because it's not going to be showing. And I'm going to take it and put it right at the bottom. And what this is going to do is it's going to act as a stopper for my photograph. So any picture that I put in um, when I have my magnet on it's going to hit this first and it won't slide out of the bottom. All right, so now that we have added this little stopper, I am going to go ahead and bring in my six by six piece. And what I want to make sure of is that my six by six piece actually covers the back. And as long as it does, we're good. So I am going to take this piece and in the four corners, I am going to place magnets. Now, if you don't have magnets, you don't have to do this step. You can actually use Velcro dots, or if you don't want to make your back removable, you can simply um, glue the six by six piece down. So I have my magnets down and I am going to take my six by six piece and place it down on the eight by eight white piece and get that nice and stuck. And then I will just fold this over and miter cut my ends. And I am going to use my double-sided tape runner to go ahead and put this down and I'll lay it on that and then I'll fold this over. Use my bone folder to make sure everything is nice and stuck. And I'll do this on all four sides. Okay, so now that I have my six by six piece covered in my white paper, I have placed tape on the board and you can see the sheen. And now I am going to take my five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths liner piece 
outline the edges with glue and then place this down. And then I'll use my bone folder to make sure I have everything nice and stuck. And now we will have this beautiful back to our frame. And you can see that it's going to be lovely is I am going to take four more magnets, put them down and have them catch. Then I'll take some glue, put some glue on the magnets and then I'll bring my frame back in and all I need to do at this point is get this situated. So we have a really cute beginning to our frame. And I know that my little dots are a little bit wonky, but you know what? I'm not gonna let that bother me. I think when I laid my paper down, I didn't get my little one by seven on the paper so that the dots were straight, but I am not going to let that bother me. So now we get to decorate our gorgeous, gorgeous frame. And I, again, I'm going to use butterflies as my decoration. So I have two and I am going to mount these two because I've already mounted those so that they look like they're fluttering around. So I added a little bit of glue to that and I am just going to take it and mount it to this one. And guys, I am going to link the video that I did showing how I made my own butterflies so that if you don't want to use purchased butterflies, you can make your own. So I am just going to place these down to see how I like them. And then when I have them the way that I think I want them, I am just going to take some glue, put some glue down the spine of this, and then just hit certain spots with glue, not a whole lot. And then I'm going to take this and just stick it down. And this is the fun part because you guys get to figure out what it is you want to put on yours to make it just oh so pretty. So I'm gonna put that right there. And then I'm gonna have this last one that I am going to sort of overlap and I'm going to turn it a little bit this way. So again, I am going to use the spine as the main holder of my glue. And I'm going to hit some of my fern branches. And then I'll take this. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit and just kind of turn it just like that. And now you can see we've got a very cute base to laying down our butterflies. So I am going to figure out how I want these little guys fluttering about on this greenery just a little bit closer together so there's not too much spacing so then at this point I have laid down my butterflies the way that I want them so I am going to take just a little glue and I'm just running it down the center of the body and then I'll take these little guys and just start putting them down And it really is this simple, but oh my goodness, what a beautiful little project we have here. And then I'm gonna turn him this way. And if you want it to, you could actually weave in some lace or some seam binding. Just really, really turn that into an absolute cutie. So I'm gonna hold this up so that you guys can see that. And then the last thing that I want to do is I am going to put just a little sentiment right here. And you know what's perfect for this? Valentine stickers that I have are just perfect for this. And I don't know if I want to use I love you the most or you are so sweet. So in the end, I decided to go with the you are so sweet because I love how it looks. And you could actually put any type of a sentiment on here that you want because this is just so, 
stinking cute. And my stickers are actually stickers that I got from Tuesday morning and they are from American Crafts from the My Sweet collection. So if you're looking for these, you can search American Crafts, My Sweet, and you might be able to find some stickers like this because even though it's not Valentine's Day, we can pull a lot of the stickers off of here and use on other projects. So now we've got this gorgeous frame and we are, of course are going to want to set it up. So I am going to flatten out my butterflies for just a moment, flip this over, and then I'll show you guys how we're going to make this awesome little easel that we will attach to the back and hold up our frame. So if you're using clothespins, take your clothespin and let's just take it apart, just like this. Then we're going to take one end and I'm using the end that's the longest and it gets narrow and I'm putting it down inside of this piece and this time I've got the shorter end facing forward just like that. So then I'm going to take some hot glue and what I did was I put hot glue on the end of that and all I'm going to do is take it and put it down inside of that groove, make sure it's straight and tilt it back. And I'm gonna bring this one over so I can have the same style tilt. And then I'm gonna clean up any of that excess glue. So all I'm doing is making sure the angle of my tilt is about the same on both pieces. And then I'll hold this until it sets up. So I am going to take my glue and I have placed glue on that top part. Then I am simply going to lean this back to where I want it. And we're gonna get this stuck down. So then once that's dry, we're going to do the same thing with the other one. So what I've done is I've taken my glue. I have glue on this top head and I will just move it over to where it's practically even with the other one in the back. And then I'm going to get it stuck. Okay, so once we have those on, this is what you end up with for your easel. So it's going to set up just like that. And you are going to have such a unique and fantastic little personalized photo frame. And guys, these are wonderful because you can make them for any season, any reason, any gender, anything. So I am going to just open my butterflies back up so they can flutter, flutter, flutter all over this board. And you can see just how easily that sets up. And then you can see when you're looking at it from the front, just how gorgeous this is. And when we take our photograph, because you've got this opening here, you can pop your photograph right down on the inside. Your opening is approximately four by four. And you can custom cut your picture to fit the inside of your frame. But I am going to bring the other one back in because I don't have a favorite in these two. These are absolutely spectacular. So guys, I added some photographs to my frames because I wanted to give you a very realistic look of how these frames will actually work as home decor and they are real working frames. And I wanted to share these with you. These are my grandchildren. Some of you might remember uh, a few videos back, I shared some pictures of my daughter's wedding on the farm and we had roosters and chickens at the wedding. Well, these two little ones are the product of that union. And I am just so blessed and so proud of these little guys. This is Kathleen, she's three. This is Charles, he's now two. I think he was maybe 19 or 20 months when this photograph was taken. He's a very big two, but he's just the sweetest little Charlie bear there is. And my little Catalino is just so full of personality and imagination. And I wanted to give you guys a look at how I am going to use these frames because I now have these pictures mounted and they will actually become a part of my home decor. And from time to time, I might swap out the pictures, but I definitely wanted to go ahead and include them in this video 
so that you guys could see that this really is a way to capture those special moments in life and capture those people who mean so much to us. So I hope that you're planning on making some of these frames and I hope that you'll either gift them or place them out around your home the way that I'm going to do because I'm going to make just a few more so that I can scatter pictures throughout the house. And these make perfect gifts, guys. Or I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Make a whole bunch of these for yourself and set them out all over your house so every room you walk into you've got this beautiful frame and it has a memory in it that makes you smile. So guys, I hope that you have loved this project. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys have a great day. Happy crafting and we'll chat later.